My name is Alone and welcome to the first episode in a potential series that I want to do depending on if you guys like it or not. And it is going to be very interesting how this is going to work and any feedback on the series is greatly appreciated. So I just finished the Easter event on a new account called Egg Iron Man, which is a hardcore Iron Man that I just created. And I now have the essential item for this series, which is the Magic 8 Ball Egg. And uh, I will explain why in just a sec. So what this series will be about is you shake this egg, you choose one of these options and it will decide what I'm going to be doing for the video or a bunch of different things I will do for the video. So now I'm just going through them. You can see I asked what item I should get or what pet I should get and what skill should I do and what boss should I kill. There, for example, it told me to kill Obor and it's completely random. And now for the main thing, what skill should I train today? Now, if I go to the next dialogue, it will tell me a random skill, defense. And this is just a try, so I will do it again, and I have to get member first, but let's see what we're going to do. So I'm only restricted to doing the things that the egg will tell me to do. If it is a skill that I need to train, I can only do quests that give me experience in that. And I will do 10 levels in each skill, and we will begin with cooking. So of course for the first cooking levels I'm going to do the cook's assistant quest. I think that's, uh, I'm not sure how many levels, but 300 cooking should be maybe 4 cooking? Or yeah, 4 cooking, so that's a good start. So I did some world hopping and collected a few pots and bowls of water and I'm going to get some flour now so I can make some bread as I can't really fish for shrimps to get cooking experience the last 6 levels, so I will have to make bread. I have a feeling I'm going to burn like 50% of this and I will have to do more rounds. 40 experience each, okay, <laughs> already level 5, it's going to be probably very fast if I don't actually burn a lot of them. It's like 2 or 3 per level. Actually, 0 burned yet. 6? Uh, what's the chances of actually burning these if I'm level 6? Okay, there you go, you can actually still burn them, so... And then I start burning all of them, actually. Oh my god, dude. Uh, can we actually get one more level with this? 7, and I can probably do one more round or maybe two or more rounds and I will be level 10. Seven, I would really like an agility roll on this egg after this one, running is so annoying. Let's see if I can do it. 24 experience left, I have one bread and I actually made it. There we go, 10 cooking, so the first one is now completed. Let's see what the next skill is going to be. Please be agility, just please. Don't be cooking again. Strength, okay, that's easy. You wake up in the middle of the night and you see this guy, what do you do? So for the future episode of this series, just to let you guys know, as this is a trial episode pretty much, to see if this is actually a good idea or not, I am going to change things up, obviously. And for example, now I can't actually get any of the rare items that the uh, thing can tell me to get, or kill the bosses that it tasks me to do, as I have literally no levels here. So that will be for the future of this series, and also if I do get a boss that is just way too hard to kill, like if I would get assigned Solra when I'm like 60 combat, then I can definitely not do that, and I will have to just pick a boss that is probably feasible for me to do, and it's the same with the items. Oh, 11 hit points. And um, for the other thing with skills, if I get to like level 60 or level 80 for example, like the higher ends of the skills, then I will have to probably go down to 5 levels per time I get the assigned skill and so on. So when I get to the higher levels, I will set uh, different thresholds, for example at level 40, I might start doing 5 levels every single time I roll a skill. Of course, very easy to do, that is uh, 10 strength, so let's get another skill now, I'm gonna run out here so I don't get more experience. Save some bones as well if uh, I get a prayer step, so let's see what should I train now. Let's see, range, also very easy. Actually pretty hard to train ranged when you have no ammo, but uh, I had some money so I went to Varrock and bought some iron arrows. I mean only 20, but uh, maybe that will be enough for uh, 10 ranged. Very unlikely, but first easy clue. I can uh, see if we can actually complete that later, but otherwise I'll just keep it in the bank. I think I can actually do that. I, I don't think that requires anything. And also a beginner clue. I can actually probably do that. It's very easy to do this and they rarely have skill requirements I think, but maybe there is going to be some equipments I need that I don't have yet. So I just scraped by 10 range done. My combat level now is 8 by the way, but uh, I'm going to go to uh, Charlie the Tramp in Varrock and see what I get and if it is something that requires a skill I will do one roll on this and see what I get and see if I can get lucky. Let's see what we're going to get. Very likely I can't actually do this, so let's see. Wait, what did he actually want? Raw pike. Yeah, what cooking level is that? Pike is... 20. Well, if I do roll, I need fishing and cooking for that. I guess I'll keep it, but let's see what the next skill is going to be. 
What skill is it going to be? It is hunting. Oh, dude, that is going to be quite annoying. So getting 10 hunter is actually going to be way more dangerous than uh, you might think because I can't actually do the quiz mini game because that will also give me 9 slayer which we don't want to do. So I have to actually use the wilderness level to get to Ardoin, then run all the way down here to the crimson swifts and I have some money to buy bird snares as well. And I will have to do that from 1 to 10 and there's quite a lot of uh, weird monsters that can kill me. Okay, so we made it here, now I just have to get 10 Hunter, and uh, running th past those level 53 Ogres, I can max at 7, with pretty much no run energy was uh, not the most fun thing. The first Hunter levels are so painful, I have to say, but that is uh, 10 Hunter done on these birds, so let's see what the next skill is going to be. What should I train today? And the skill is going to be... Rune crafting. Oh, okay, I have to do the quest for that. So with the rune mysteries completed, I can now do rune crafting. But the problem is, how am I supposed to get my essence? Because it actually requires mining kind of to get the essence or killing monsters for them. But there is one thing I can do for 1000 experience, which is the uh, ab enter the abyss mini quest, you could say. Uh, but it will give me 1k experience and for level 10 I need I think 1.1k experience as you can see here So I'm going to at least do that and then we'll see what will happen after that So meanwhile I wait for my home teleport to activate again so I can finish up the enter the abyss mini quest and uh, Get my 1000 rune crafting experience I've actually thought a bit about how this is going to work in general as this is just a try episode pretty much for the first one to see what I want to change and what thing I think is a good idea and what isn't and getting increments of 10 levels is probably not a very good idea as I probably I don't think at least after looking for a while will be able to get, get 10 rune crafting without getting experience in any other skills as I pretty much need mining or I need to do combat to get uh, monster kills for the pure or at rune sense so I think a better idea is actually to do this I will open this stopwatch right here and every single time I roll a skill I have to do that skill for one hour and if I just can't continue with that skill then I will just have to wait that one hour out or just stop and uh, choose a new skill but if I can definitely do the skill then I can do it for one hour and I can get whatever I want in that skill in that one hour. So for example, if my next skill is mining, then I can do some runescence mining and some maybe copper and uh, uh, tin mining so that I can do some smithing when I get into that. And if I do get smithing after that, I have one hour to do as much smithing as I want, meaning I can also do any quest that gives a lot of smithing experience, even if it gives me like, for example, the knight sword quest that gives me instantly 29 smithing. I can do that as long as I do it within that one hour. So if you guys think that is a better idea, please let me know. And uh, at the more end game of the account where every level might take like three, four hours in different skills or even more than that, I might change it up to uh, I have to do one level. But that's when I'm, I have more access to different things, which will change things up drastically compared to now. So as I've determined that after this, I won't be able to get more runecrafting experience. I will roll a new skill after this. 1000 experience, also got the small pouch and an abyssal book that I probably don't really need. So I'm going to drop it and uh, I am now 9 runecrafting, very close to 10. And I don't want to talk to you. So let's uh, see another skill and this one I will do for 1 hour whatever the skill is. Fletching! That's going to be interesting how I'm going to do that actually at level 1. Without getting woodcutting experience, I'm pretty sure this is the only option I have. Picking up these logs right here, and I'm starting the timer right now by the way, I'm gonna show you guys right there on the right side. I will be doing this for one hour, and I think it's literally the only thing I can do to get fletching experience right now. So let's see where we end up. Okay, so there we go, it's been one hour now, I'm just going to use these last four logs right here, and then I'll go to the bank and choose another skill, and I do for sure think this is a better way of doing it. I managed to get almost 16 fletching, so that's pretty good on uh, normal logs. So if I get woodcutting now, I can actually try to get some oak logs if I would get uh, fletching again in the future, which would make it a lot easier. But um, let's remove that one, reset the counter, and let's see what skill will be the next one. What should I train right now? Please be agility, actually. It would be very nice. One hour of agility would be amazing. Prayer. Oh, I have some bones in my bank actually for that. Of course, the most important thing that I want to do now that I have uh, prayer is complete the restless ghost quest, which I think will give me nine prayer. I think I'm supposed to use it on the coffin like this. 
And uh, that took me actually a bit longer than I expected. It took six minutes to do the quest. But uh, I don't actually think I can train that much more prayer anyways in this hour. I have 41 normal bones, 1.1k prayer experience. And I did actually look into, yeah, 9 prayer. I did look into other quests that I could do, but all of them actually requires other things that I can't get right now that gives prayer experience. But um, yeah, I will be able to get at least 10 prayer here because I have some uh, bones, as I said, in the bank already from uh, doing combat. Actually, I just realized I can actually do prayer for an entire hour because there are bone spawns in the game. And I think in the Edgeville dungeon, there's a bunch of them. So I'm actually just going to head over to Edgeville and I will just bury bones like this for uh, one hour. I mean, it's the only really way I can get prayer experience. And if there is a way I can get... Uh, experience in a skill in that one hour, regardless of how good or bad it is, I will do it. The only way I would cancel the hour and choose another skill is if, is if it's literally impossible to get experience in that skill. I really hope these skeletons are actually not aggressive, but uh, this is where I will be doing my prayer training. I think there is more bone spawns in the dungeon. Yeah, you can see here. Let's see if these are actually aggressive. If they are... Okay, they're not. That's really good. Uh, then I can pick these bones up as well without having to uh, risk taking damage. So I will probably pick these bones up. And by the way, when it comes to world hopping, I'm doing it now and then, but not all the time because of the limit they put on world hopping as there are so many people online. So I do world hop. I did that with the logs as well now and then, but it doesn't seem like I have to do it for these bones uh, because... They spawn faster than I can pick them up, I think. Okay, so I did the one hour now, and I got 15 prayer from that, so not too bad. And uh, let's see what skill I got. I got Herblore as my next skill, so I will have to do the quest for that. So the hardest part about this is uh, getting a raw bear meat, because I have to kill a level 19 bear to get it. I could actually get these from stores, except the uh, raw rat meat, but I only had to kill a level 3 rat for that, so that was extremely easy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy an oak short bow and I'm going to buy... I actually sold the fletching supplies that I got by the way, but I'm going to buy, I think, steel arrows for most of them. And I will try to kill the bear before I actually get a range level. And if I don't, I will flinch for the remaining experience or HP on strength. I actually only got like 30% range experience from that, I think. And there we go, I have my raw bear meat. I'm also going to pick up the bear fur because I have a feeling I will have to uh, use that in the future as well. That actually took me 25 minutes to get this done, and that will be 4 quest points, which is super super nice, and 3 herb lore. Now, the problem is, I actually can't continue with herb lore, because the only Guam spawn in the entire game is in deep wilderness. And uh, I really don't with 10 combat level as a hardcore Iron Man when I go out there, so I'm just going to roll another skill and be done with herb lore for now. If I get combat, then I will probably try to kill something that can give some herbs or uh, something like that. But what will I do now? Magic. Nice. Then I can actually kill something that probably gives me some herbs. But that is going to do it for this episode or the trial episode for this series. So I would love any feedback because the case of this series is I just wanted to make one episode and get feedback on it to see if you guys actually think this is a good idea and if you think anything should be changed in this series and if it's actually a good idea then I will go for it. And I have also myself figured out that there is one option on this egg that I will never use, which is what rare item will I get today? Because first off, it can't actually give all the items in the game. It can actually only give a very small amount of items, and all of the items that you can possibly get on that option will be in the top of the description as a whole list of them. And just from seeing that, you can probably understand why I'm not going to do it. For example, it can say Bandos Chestplate and also Bandos Tassets. And if I would do Bandos in the future and I would get like a, be uh, a hill to drop or I would get the Tassets when it was assigned me a Bandos Chestplate, I would just have to ignore the item, which is just not fun gameplay in general. But the things I will use is what pet will I get today in the near, well, not the near future, in the very very distant future possibly and what should I train today that I've been using all this video and what boss should I fight today because that is really interesting I think because if I get Cerberus for example and I can get any drops from it as soon as I get a one drop from the boss that I get assigned I will quit that boss and be able to choose another one I think that's the best way of doing it and as I said this is a trial episode so any feedback is greatly appreciated and I hope you guys did enjoy this video I'm gonna join my journey on my egg Iron Man in the future. And have a good one, guys. Take care.